All right. Well, welcome to the podcast, John Dowdy, uh, president of Equinity. I appreciate you coming on today. Yeah, it's my pleasure, and thanks for having me. Yeah. So there's this is going to be a fun one for me because we get to kind of dive into nutrition and supplementing your horses, and uh, you've had a lot of success. Um, I know that I've tried out Equinity and uh, for about a little over a year now, mm -hmm. and and kind of the benefits and uh, being able to get into that. So. Let's uh let's kind of start from the beginning a little bit. You know, when when did you kind of get into the the supplement side of things? Well, I first learned about the amino acid uh, product on the human side uh, back in 2006. It was a Canadian based company for the uh, 50 plus crowd as an anti aging youth formula. And being in Southwest Florida, I had connections in Major League Baseball, so I helped get a sport version of that, which was the same product just in a different label into all of major league baseball and so i was involved with the company for about four years and then i left for a couple of years and found my way back in um and so we just put the same formula in a tub and called it a quantity and up until that point it had been used on horses and dogs and cats and things like that but it had never been marketed specifically to the horse industry so we had some connections in the english side of things and so that's kind of what got us started uh, back in 2014. Okay, so 2014, you're rolling with it. Um, so let's talk about the product and uh, essentially like am amino acids. Like what is a, an amino acid? What does it do? So amino acids are the building blocks of protein. So when we eat protein, the protein molecule is too big to be absorbed. And so the body has to break that down into amino acids. That's why amino acids are called the building blocks of protein. So you can think of it um, as a, a word is a protein, but the individual letters are amino acids. And so when you put the amino acids together, it builds a protein. And so what we're after with uh, our Equinity Horse Excel is starting off with the amino acids uh, first. And so it can just be rapidly absorbed. Okay. And, and so to kind of get to the, the beginning protein, like what, it, what is essentially protein? What does it do for the, the body? Uh, essentially, it's building muscle. And, uh, and it's a vital part of the, the whole nutrition aspect of it. So we all have to have protein to survive. And when we get into the amino acid aspect, and specifically what, what we're dealing with um, is just straight amino acids. So the body doesn't have to spend the time to break the protein down into amino acids. Right. So with protein, the, like the more protein you have, the bigger the muscle, essentially. Like the more you get used, the more it breaks down. Like uh, the more a muscle works, the more it breaks down, and so the more protein it'll need. So, uh, essentially, in performance, like a like a horse with that's really really big and strong, it would require more protein, like more aminos to to fuel those muscles, and also the same way, if you as you break them down, it kind of helps grow them. Correct? Is that? Yeah, I mean, so just like on on the human side of things, uh, you know, a lot of bodybuilders and people that work out try to keep their protein high. Um, and so a lot of them supplement amino acids along with that at the same time while they're trying to take in a lot of protein. When we get into the horse industry and with feeds and things, and you look at the amount of protein, and sometimes, you know, you got to be careful because when you're looking at the labels uh, of feed and the protein that's in there, and, and when it says crude protein, we don't really know what that is made of. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, you know, it's always a, a challenge in there. So where our expertise is, is, you know, with our product and the amino acids and what we found over, you know, eight years of being on the market, it doesn't matter what part of the country you're in, what the feeding program is. It can be the high end feeds. It can be low end feeds and everything in between. And if you're really in tune with your horse feeding the Equinity Horse Excel, you, you will notice a change in your horse in typically 30 days or less. Okay. So that's, that's kind of the deal. When you start supplementing a horse, um, how, how long like how long and then what type of results are we usually, would you expect to see? Sure. So with the Equinity Horse XL, and what makes it unique is it doesn't fit into a specific supplement category. In other words, it's not just a hoof supplement or it's not just a joint supplement, so on and so forth. Ours is specifically designed to stimulate the pituitary gland, which is a gland that releases hormones. And then the body sends its own hormones to its own problem areas. So this is why it helps in so many ways. And what we found, typically the horses have stress, anxiety, or a bit spooky. Uh, we've noticed complete demeanor changes in as little as two or three days. 
Now you get into a week to two weeks for the working performance horse. They just feel better under saddle. They're more comfortable. Uh, people are noticing uh, faster recovery, more stamina, better focus. And then you get into the 30 day mark, um, softer, shinier coat. They're filling out even at the top line um, and the hips area. We've also had people notice uh, more firmness in the sole depth, although that happens more, you know, towards a six week mark and the overall hoof growth is phenomenal. Okay. So, that's, I mean, there's that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a ton there. Yeah. Um, but essentially, what, what I'm trying to get to is with, with s- supplementing, this is, it's really hard to get a consistent feed. Like, you, you know, you say crude, like that's something everyone should check uh, with, with maybe their grain or whatever they're, they're feeding because essentially you don't know how much protein you're getting sometimes. Mm-hmm. And same way with alfalfa alpha hay, with grass hay, it, they say it's tested, but we, all, you know, we don't necessarily know. So, and a horse can only um, absorb so much protein at, at one time, right? Is that, is that kind of how that works too? Yeah. And again, I'm not an expert in, on that side of things. Right. Um, because when it comes to our product, it's designed for a very specific thing, and that's to give the body what it needs to release its own repairing hormones. And then allowing the body to send its own hormones to its own problem areas. So the interesting thing with this is the body does this anyways. It's just as the horse ages or people age, the mammals age, those hormone levels are on the decline, which is the aging process. And so by naturally stimulating the body to release its own hormones, then you have these youth-like benefits that come along with that. And so for, you know, the working performance horse, they recover faster, they haul better, they're more calm in their skin, and they're just overall, you know, they overall feel better uh, as a whole. Right, because the ability to to repair muscles, ligaments, things like that, Correct. It, just, it just happens, it just speeds it up because of the absorption and the amount that um, you're able to utilize, essentially. Sure, right? yeah, and, and because this is a, a crystallized, uh, pure free form amino acid. It's, um, you know, when you open the container, you see little clouds of aminos. You're like, no, stay in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you know, a serving size is only 5.2 grams, which is about like a teaspoon, regardless of the size of the animal. So it could be a tiny mini or a big draft horse. The reason why they all get the same dose is because we're targeting the pituitary gland, which is r- roughly the same size in horses. And so we're after super fast absorption. And it's already in the stage ready for absorption, so it doesn't take long at all. I mean, typically within hours, it's already absorbed. Okay. Then um, let's talk about the aminos. So how many amino acids can a horse um, absorb or what's kind of the – I know it's different between every, every species. Um, how does that kind of work with the different types of aminos and, and what a horse needs? Well, we all need amino acids. Um, there's essential and non-essential, some that we can get from our feed and things and others we have to supplement. And so, you know, amino acids have never really typically been thought of um, in the horse industry. Um, and this is information that I've just gathered through the years. You know, a lot of people that have really great feeding programs and they just never thought to use amino acids. And so, you know, specific to ours, Ours is, again, specific to doing a a very specific thing. So that's why it doesn't fit into, you know, just a hoof supplement or just a joint supplement and so on and so forth. Yeah, because it's it's addressing the body wherever it needs to heal. Right. So like, you know, same for a person. If you sprain your ankle, if you have some ligament issues, pull a muscle, you know, the the nutrition that you put in your body is what's going to help recover those things and kind of yes. help help rebuild that muscle or maybe repair yeah. like ligament damage That's or right. something like that. Absolutely. You know, it's vital to um, the overall nutrition is important. It's not just, you know, you can have a, a fair to Midland diet and nutrition program and add this and it's going to fix everything. I mean, you know, obviously we need the best nutrition we can possibly get, but what we found through the years it really doesn't matter if it's a great top of the notch feeding program with chiropractors and massage and the best of the best to the low end, giving their horse, whatever they can afford. When they add this product, they typically see results in 30 days or less. Cause you're just going to get more out of what you're feeding. That's right. Yeah. And we're, again, we're allowing the body to help repair itself. And so it takes a lot of guesswork out, especially with injured horses. Um, but 
with that being said, we have a lot of people that use it as a preventative. You know, if your horse doesn't really have any issues, then why would you use this? Well, you're keeping the cells operating at optimal levels. Um, if they do have an injury, it may not be as severe. I mean, that's very potential if everything is working at optimal levels, it may not be a, a severe injury, but we've also found the ones that do have severe injuries and it could be, you know, deep digital flexor tears or fractures or whatever the case might be. Um, they tend to always come back a lot sooner than projected. Okay. Um, so cellular repair, how, can you kind of give me the, the team rail perversion of how that, <laughs> that, that works, you know, kind of dumb it down. So a team rail sure. can understand. Well, yeah, it's, you know, it's actually not that difficult. Um, because the body is already doing this for itself. You know, that that's what the body does is, you know, when we, especially in the high performance world or, you know, we're using our horses and, and doing these things and it's tearing muscle and soft tissue and all this stuff, the body naturally repairs itself. But if you're constantly doing this on a day-to-day -day basis, it's hard to get everything to repair back to ground zero, so to speak. So they may always have a little hitching their giddy up, so to speak, because they haven't had enough downtime to repair. And so by using the Equinity Horse Excel, we're giving the body what it needs to help speed that process up. And again, you know, this is specific to do a certain thing, which is stimulate the pituitary gland, which the pituitary gland is the master gland that releases hormones. And what we're after is growth hormone, which is the master hormone. And that releases IGF-1 out of the liver. And that's really what we're after, but you can only get to it with growth hormone. And so this is not a growth hormone product. It's hundred percent pure amino acid. So we're just naturally allowing the body to stimulate the pituitary to release its own hormones. And then the body takes over and then releases its own hormones to send to its own problem areas. And so a lot of times what we found, um, even with T Wade, you know, his horse was out with fractures and I don't remember if it was supposed to be out for a year or six months, whatever the time frame was. And it was back in half the time. Um, and you know, it's very, very common as long as they don't re injure themselves. Um, you know, they're, they are typically always back ahead of schedule. So it's a great product because in the fact that you're not having to do a lot of guesswork, it, it takes the guesswork out and, you know, helps get your horse back to where you want it to be sooner. Right. So what about, um, like a lot of team ropers have issues with hawks, stifles. Those are, those are joints that get worked and there's, there's other joints as well that get worked really hard. So sure. what about, uh, joint health and kind of, uh, you know, we've, we've heard some like through T Wade about maybe he's injecting his horses less and less when he's using this. Uh, so why would that, uh, how does that kind of work with, with those joints like that? Yeah. And again, when we get down to allowing the body to work at the cellular level and repair what we found through the years and a lot of the high performance horses for sure that are injected regularly, what we found is they don't have to inject as often and sometimes not at all. You know, it all just depends on the horse. And, you know, I tell people it's not a miracle supplement, but it sure has done some miraculous things through the years. And, you know, it's, uh, we just find it over and over with injected horses, you know, it's, it's helping to repair in the joint areas among everything else in the body. It just kind of helps balance the horse from the inside out. Okay. So it, I mean, where, wherever it needs to go and, and that, so that's like heel horses that stop real hard and maybe you're on hard ground or sticky ground constantly, that's going to probably be pretty hard on hawks stifles. And so yep. it, it, it allows that horse to help there where it could be, specific injuries to this horse is just allowed to heal so this this supplements basically allowing that the horse to heal themselves is is, is essentially sure and just speed that up uh, you mentioned like foot growth and um and maybe some farriers using it so what have been some benefits you've seen uh in, in horses feet boy that is a big one because we've seen a lot from the the worst of the worst cracked hoof walls and white line and severe founder where I mean, just super severe cases, um, typically within the 30 days to more towards a six week mark, people start noticing a firmness in the sole depth. So, you know, when it comes to a foundered horse, it's not that it's going to fix the founder directly, but it's going to help thicken that sole, which is going to support the coffin bone. And then ultimately gives the farrier more to work with in a shorter amount of time. So, um, and we're talking overall hoof growth, uh, the structure of the hoof, the you know, strong hoof walls, stronger 
better, faster, and, and all these types of things. So uh, I'll tell you a quick story. There was a, a farrier in Florida that uh, probably about two years ago, and he calls me up and he says, you know, I, I keep coming across your product and I've looked into it. And he says, it looks interesting, but I'll just tell you, I'm 77 and been farrying for 59 years. So I've heard it all and seen it all. I thought, okay, well, this would be fun. So I explained to him, you know, how it worked. And then I said, well, how about I just send you some product and then you tell me what you think? He says, well, I can't turn that down. So about three weeks later, he calls me up. He's like, John, I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I haven't seen this in 59 years. And apparently this particular horse had really sore feet. And when he put in the cross ties, it would just go crazy and try to flip over and everything else. And so he, he gave a product and the next time he came out, that horse just stood there, lifted all his feet, and he got done and let him out. And he went out and run around and bucked and played. And so about every three weeks for six months, it seemed like he was calling me with different stories. And, you know, there was one horse that, it was an older horse, and he had just kind of run a rasp on it. And that was pretty much his footwork. Right. And uh, they started feeding this horse. He goes, man, I actually trimmed some stuff off this hoof. He goes, this just unbelievable. So we've had stories come in, you know, trailer accidents, some pretty severe, you know, ripping a hoof and doing all kinds of stuff. Um, had somebody tell us that they've seen a hoof grow out in seven months or eight months. That's pretty so, fast on a, yeah, it's pretty fast. So, uh, sometimes, uh, I get the evil eye from the husbands out there on the, their farrier bills have gone up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got, got some, got some foot. To but shoot. you know, the hoof, if you don't have a hoof, what do you, what do you have? Right. Well, and, and you got to think that's, they're taking the feet is a really hard thing to, uh, to solve once it gets going bad. And so to be able to maintain like healthy feet in a horse is, is really important, especially roping because, um, like basically bone growth in a, in a foot is really hard to, it's hard to stop and slow down. And, uh, and it's usually, that's kind of what ends a lot of horses careers as far as, um, if you see things going on in the feet, right? Sure. Yeah. So kind of the, the next thing with this is inflammation, you know, and just being sore. What, you know, what's, what's kind of the benefits and what have you seen on how it helps with uh, reducing inflammation? And then also as that happens, what should you, like if someone doesn't know like, hey, my horse is really sore, what do they start acting like when the, as that inflammation kind of reduces? What would be some of the behaviors you'd see? Well, I mean, anybody that's ever lifted weights, you know, you have that real sore uh, lactic acid buildup and inflammation. And that, that's where the soreness comes from because you've ripped and torn, you know, could be micro tears of muscle and you're just sore. And so you need time to recover. And so again, you know, given the body, what it needs to help release these repairing hormones, you're going to repair faster, which is very typical. And, um, the L arginine that's in our product, you know, L arginine is known to help open the veins, which that promotes more blood flow, which brings more oxygen into those areas, which promotes the recovery. And when you open the vein to create more blood flow, your body's also getting rid of the bad stuff that's in there. So, um, and it might be a good segue into the, the OEC product because, um, you know, this is a really powerful antioxidant, um, uh, it's a flaxy based omega three. It's got a thousand. I use a natural cold pressed vitamin E, which is a D alpha to call for all. And it's also got colloidal silver in it. So probably about, um, let's say three, three years ago, I guess, Dr. Zach Brugan, he's a mobile vet out of Arkansas and he had been using the horse Excel for I think a couple of years at the time. And he called us up or called me up and, uh, said, Hey, have you ever thought about coming out with another product? And I said, well, not for the sake of coming out with one. I mean, this one does so much. I don't even know right. what we would come out with. Right. And, uh, he says, well, here's what I'm thinking. No. I think this was just something he was looking for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's all worked out. So anyways, we spent uh, a year doing field trials and tweaking things. And, you know, some of the things that he pointed out to me, which I thought were really important, you know, a lot of people use oils for different purposes, but there's a lot of oils out there that aren't beneficial for your horse. You know, they're, in other words, they're omega-6 rich, which causes inflammation. And so one of the important things with this oil, it's a flaxseed based omega-3 oil, which you want the omega-3s that helps reduce inflammation. And so his thing to me was, you know, we want to educate people that if you're using an oil, just make sure it's an omega-3 rich oil. So that's why we're using flaxseed oil as, as the base. And then with, when it comes to vitamin E, 
you know, a lot of people use vitamin E for, you know, the horses are just efficient. They have EPM problems or PSSM, which by the way, the, the amino acids have done wonders for EPM and PSSM horses just by itself. But using a natural cold press vitamin E is important. So if you're using synthetic vitamin E, then you might as well just dump it on the ground because your court, horse can't absorb that and can't use it at all. And then the third component is the colloidal silver. And so uh, bacteria and viruses and things like that can't grow in an environment where there's silver. And it's not that there's anything unique about any one of the three ingredients in the product, but there's nothing on the market that has all three combined. And not to say that something like that won't come out in the future, but at the time there, there wasn't anything like this on the market. And so it's serving two purposes. And this is, you know, all of that information sold me on it. Um, but the more important thing was it works in combination with the horse Excel. So the horse Excel is given the body what it needs to repair cells. And so the OEC is given the repaired cells nutrition, which is important to keep, keep them operating at optimal levels. And then again, it's also serves as a really powerful antioxidant, which helps reduce inflammation. Right. So when we talk about omega threes and kind of essentially like with that what is the benefits of omega threes that you start seeing and kind of essentially starting to supplement uh, with the kind of fat? You know that's that's pretty important. A lot of it, a lot of people uh, they suggest it for people to take. Sure. Right now, so uh, educate me on that a little bit. Yeah, I mean omega threes are great for uh, actually you know the anti-inflammatory aspect, but it's great for the brain function, neurological functions. Um, it's great for the coat, you know, in horses. Um, joints. It's really great for that. And so, you know, there's got to be some, omega, some omega sixes in there in the, but it's, it's gotta be a, the correct ratio. So, you know, but more omega threes in the omega sixes. So ours has the, the perfect combination for that. Um, so that's really, you know, the main benefits of omega three. So if you're using oils, just make sure you're using a good omega three rich oil. Okay. And that's, that's the thing is, uh, brain function, healthier joints and then also that it will help with the coat things like that that's that's really interesting um about omega-6 causing inflammation and essentially that's one of the hardest things to solve and probably understand because we we know what it's like when we get body sore you know and <laughs> yeah and if your horse is feeling like that it's it's really hard for them to communicate and the only way they could probably do it is through performance or them being kind of grouchy or, you know, their sure. attitude kind of just changes on you. Yeah. And a lot of people too, you know, they're like, Hey, I need to put some weight on my horse. So they dump the vegetable oil or canola oil or whatever oil. And yeah, it, it makes them beef up and fatten up, but it's what it's doing internally is what we have to be concerned with because right. you're really not helping them that way. They look good on the outside. And that's the thing too, with the, both of these products in combination is a great combination of products and you may not need to use a lot of other things but i always tell people if you have to choose one over the other then always the amino acids because horses just are deficient in the right amount of amino acids period right so if we're um if we're talking about starting to use quinity the, the, the horse xl how would you suggest to someone to start using it and maybe put it in their program Great question because um, we get a lot of questions like, hey, should I just stop all my other supplements and just use this? And what we recommend, first of all, I don't know your horse, so it wouldn't be fair for me to advise you what to use or not use on your horse. What, what I can advise is not changing a thing and just add this to it. So that's why we're only changing one element and because you already have a baseline. You know, if you've been using supplements or whatever products for X amount of time, you know what your horse is doing or not doing. And so just by adding one element, you will be able to see a difference typically in 30 days or less. And so at that point, you can decide whether to reduce other supplements or just stop using them at all. And people are typically saving 20 to 40% in medical bills and other supplements just by using the horse Excel. Um, one of the other things I think is important too, uh, going back to the, the hormones that are released from the pituitary, when you give a scoop of the horse Excel in, in the morning, as an example, the hormones are released to have a 23 and a half hour life cycle. So by the time you give a scoop the following morning, the hormone levels are back to where they would normally be for that age of a horse. So again, there's no loading dose. Um, this tub actually has a hundred servings in it and it's 99.99. So dollar a day, pretty, okay. in, pretty inexpensive. Um, so if you're using the product for say four years, 
Well, naturally, the hormone levels four years later would be lower than they would be, you know, four years prior. So by feeding the horse XL, you're keeping the hormone levels elevated during that time. And if you just stopped using this, the hormone levels would go back to where they would normally be for that age of a horse. And no problem with that. So what we found with an injured horse or for the working performance horse, a lot of people are giving a scoop in the morning and a scoop in the evening. And what that does is it keeps the hormone levels elevated all the time. And so now it helps promote faster recovery. So what we found with a lot of uh, folks that are hauling all the time, they just find their horses are more relaxed. They recover faster. And, you know, typically they might uh, in prior years would have to give their horse maybe a two or three day rest sometimes. Now it's like a one day rest. The, the horse is just always ready to go. Yeah. There's just so many ways that you can benefit from that because the, the travel is so hard. Like, I, I don't know the exact numbers on it, but I know like every hour in the trailer is like X amount of minutes trotting. And so when you start talking about hauling them and just how rough it is, it's, it, it really does use a lot of, uh, it wears them out pretty mm -hmm. good. And anyone that's rodeoed for very long, they, they know what it's like. And then also, I think you got to look at it the other way too. If you're not traveling a lot and then you do go to a big roping or something and it's eight, 10 hours away, and then you're up the next morning or that day or whatever. And if you think about that, your horse isn't used to that either. Sure. So you might get a different performance out of your horse or that it might affect them in a way that you, you really couldn't expect. Even if you do kind of have them in shape, there's, you know, those that, how they, the muscles they use to get hauled in a trailer is going to be different from the ones just standing around. So you got to, you know, the recovery process is really That's right. Big. Yeah. So the equivalent to, you know, you haven't worked out in a year and you decide you're going to get in shape and then you go to the gym and you yeah. need a walker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's me a lot. I, yeah. I get that. Yeah. Now, uh, the other thing too, I think is important. Um, this is a, a long-term product. It's an everyday product. And, you know, we have people that maybe don't supplement or not a fan of supplements. And I get that. But the thing is, is the horses are definitely not getting amino acids in their diet. And so even with uh, feeds, you know, if you're feeding a, a pelleted feed, you might look on there and say, hey, this is loaded with amino acids. The problem is with a pelleted feed, it requires an extremely high heat to create those pellets, which destroys the integrity of the amino acids. And even if they weren't destroyed in that process, you know, our specific formula is designed to do a very specific thing, which isn't anywhere else out there. So, um, and the other thing is, um, you know, we have people that, oh, my horse is hurt. So I got to find something to fix my horse, which is fine. But, um, so we have a lot of people that come along and they start using the product and then their horse gets better. And then they said, well, my horse is fine. I don't need the product anymore. Typically what happens is their horse will uh, regress back to maybe not in the injured state, but they just, they won't look as shiny coat wise. And that's one of the ways that you can tell this is working at the molecular level, just a super soft, shiny coat, um, the, the hoof walls and the overall hoof growth itself. So is there a specific time when you recommend feeding it? Like, let's say that someone's riding a horse, uh, they're roping on a horse or whatever it is. Um, do you like them to, to feed before they ride in the morning after, is there a specific time when they like can absorb the most or no, not necessarily. I mean, just morning feed, evening feed. Okay. You know, and, um, so that's what we recommend for the horse Excel for the oil. It's, um, you can split the dose, just one dose a day for that, but you can do half dose in the morning and half in the evening if you want. A lot of people like doing it that way because the oil mixes with the, the powder. Yeah. So. Okay. So the, especially the two a days on a horse that, um, is working a lot because it's the same. It would be the same if you're exercising all the time, right. you're just expediting the process in which you're healing. And, and that also, that's just going to direct, uh, you know, it's just sure. to help your performance. Yeah. And it's, it's a, a neat thing too, because you can test with it. You can try one scoop for a while and see how that works. And you can bump it up to two. We have some that swear by a uh, rounded scoops. Yeah. Then we're getting the crazy horse people. <laughs> shout out shout out to xfactorbarrowracing.com <laughs> that's right but um yeah i mean so it's it's definitely something that you can uh test with you know it's not gonna hurt the horse at all right okay so you know you obviously are love this product right sure. and it's something that um was there an aha moment where like hey i i gotta i really want to get this out there and really like there was just like i i can make a big difference was there 
When did that happen for you? You know, it's funny because in, in my younger days, I always wanted to be a veterinarian. Okay. And then I found out how much you had to study and I wasn't a fan <laughs> of it <laughs> yeah. when I was in college. And, um, so I always had a love for horses, grew up on a farm and had horses. And, um, so when we came to, to, to market with this, we really didn't have an idea of how big it was going to be and how much of a positive impact it was going to have on horses. And we kept receiving emails and phone calls and, you know, with stories of, let me tell you what this did for my horse. And I'm just like, holy smokes, you know, that this went on for quite a long time. And one day it hit me. I'm like, you know what? It's a real shame that I'm the only one hearing this story outside of their circle. And so I started a podcast about three years ago at, at our website, the uh, teamequinity.com. And, uh, so these come out typically on Wednesdays and, um, it's everything you can possibly imagine from rescue horses, high performance horses, trail horses, everything in between to, you know, severe founder to injections. I mean, name something on a horse and we're probably have spoken about it on the yeah. podcast. And so, you know, going through all of that, it was like, you know what, I think I'm having a much larger impact than I could ever be or have been as a veterinarian because I can, I'm all, all over the United States. We're in Canada. We've got some things going over in the UK and it's kind of just taken on a life of its own. And, um, so, you know, we branch out, you know, obviously partnering with you guys at X factor and, you know, running commercials on cowboy channel and, you know, team roping journal and barrel racing. And, you know, so we sponsor a lot of events. And so the, the more we can get out there, you know, branding wise and product. And, you know, we've got uh, 15 day samples of the horse Excel. So we give away a lot of those just so people can try it. You know, there's so much, uh, so many choices on the market and, you know, it's like, Oh, well, here's another one. Uh, I'll tell you a funny story. I was at, uh, down in Kinder, Louisiana, a few weeks ago, we sponsored that, uh, big futurity barrel race down there. And I was talking to somebody and, uh, I said, well, have you ever tried the Aquini? And she's like, well, you know, I'm not one of those that is a jump on the bandwagon type of a person. And I said, oh, that's fair enough. Right. And um, so I said, well, when was the last jump on the bandwagon type product? She goes, oh, it was a whenever time frame. I said, well, which, which product was it? And I don't even remember the name of it. And I said, well, how long did that little uh, splash last? She goes, oh, it was a good two or three months. I'm like, Ooh, I'm glad we don't fit in that category. We've been around for eight years. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then she realized what she was saying. She's like, yeah, maybe I should try that. I said, yeah, I think you should. So. Well, I would say that, um, go, give me the results. When do you start seeing results again? So typically, um, most commonly, um, horses that have a lot of stress, anxiety, or a bit spooky. We've seen demeanor changes in two or three days. Okay. Um, for the working performance horse, they just feel better under saddle, um, fast recovery, more stamina, better focus. And then you get into the 30 days, softer, shinier coat. And again, this is relative. Sometimes people start noticing the coat within a couple of weeks, but typically 30 days, softer, shinier coat, um, filling out in the top line, the hips, and then firmness in the uh, sole depth. The hooves are typically going to be six weeks and beyond. But, you know, we always encourage people to take before and after photos because you know when you're around your horse every day you don't see a lot of changes i was at um talking to a guy a couple of weeks ago and and gave him some product and i just saw him again yesterday and he's a roping guy and uh he said yeah he's pretty nervous in the box and uh he's got another one had navicular and he couldn't even ride him and the horse could hardly walk and then he would get uh one of his other horses just get real kind of sour and nervous and everything we would go to places so in less than two weeks all three of these horses have just made major changes the one that couldn't hardly walk is out there running around playing the one that was nervous in the box he goes I actually tried to buck him off and he's like he hadn't done that in years and that's just because he feels good um and then the other one that was just nervous and everything he's like man now that we're talking about it he goes i just realized he wasn't nervous when i took him out the other day and so probably one of the other questions that we get, will this product make my horse hot or make them lazy? Well, there's nothing in there that will do any of that kind of stuff. And we hear it probably more from trail riders, probably more often 
um, you know, the horse is just kind of a cool, calm horse and all of a sudden they've got spunk or, but it's more horse than what they're used to. Yeah. It, it's just because they feel good. You know, you're helping that, helping the body to repair on the inside. So maybe they want to play more or have a little bit more giddy up. Right. Four to six weeks and you, a visual difference that, that, that seems fast, especially supplementing. I, I, I very rarely hear of supplements. I don't know of any that say, you know, that they say that, but it's got to be, I think it's got to be so specific for the horse. Honestly, it's like got to fit the horse perfectly with the issue to see the difference that fast. So that's, that's pretty wild to, yeah. you know, to, to be putting that out there and saying, Hey, this is, this is when we're going to see results. And I think that that's pretty, it, it makes it pretty fun too. Cause then you can start, if you want to add more, you can, if you, you know, on go morning and night and kind of depending on the horse's what job and what they're doing. So. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, we get pictures all the time and it'll be dated and I'll be looking, I'm like, even today after eight years, I'm like, there's no way. And then I'll call them up and they'll tell me the whole story. And sometimes they'll send x-rays in. I mean, that's, that's what's really fun seeing the x-rays and seeing the soul depth. Wow. Yeah. In that aspect. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And how many episodes are of a podcast you have out now? Uh, I think we've got 132 right now. Okay, 132. And that's what's pretty wild is it's all, it's um, experience with it, right? It's just rider and experience from. That's right. You know, and as you just said, you don't know of another product that can show that kind of change. And I don't know of another supplement company that has a podcast that can talk that much about (laughs) that kind of stuff too, you know? And, you know, it's, it's just, it blows my mind sometimes, you know, hearing all these stories and, there's, I'll tell you another story. There was a lady, this was probably about four years ago, and this was like the most extreme, but it's not the first time it's happened. I've, I've lost track of how many times this has happened, but this one hit me the, the most. Uh, it was on a Tuesday, and she says, um, hey, my vet's coming out Friday to put my horse down because of a mystery lameness. We just don't know what's going on. We got to put her down. But I came across your product. Do you think it would help? And I'm thinking, what kind of a question is this yeah (laughs) but you know horse people they want to help their horses i mean so that makes sense i said well how about i send you some product you have to put that appointment off and we'll find out and as long as you feel the horse is doing better then you know obviously it's it's working so i sent her product and i didn't hear from her for about two months and i was nervous to call her because i didn't want to say hey is your horse still here yeah anyway she calls me back and says hey i don't know if you remember me i said yeah. <laughs> and I said, well, how's your horse? She goes, well, the horse is doing great. And I wouldn't dream of putting this horse down. It's not hundred percent may never be, but you know, I still have my horse. And as stories like that just happen over and over, there was another one, a, a severe founder and the vet was, you know, really encouraging her to put this horse down. And her farrier was trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. And finally said come here and look at this and she literally just you know peeled the soul back and like there it all is yeah and she's like no this we can do something and she goes i heard about this equinity for six cell product let's let's try that and you know her fairy's like well it better happen quick because this is not good and she says within one or two days she could tell a demeanor change and it just kept getting more positive as it was going along. And she was working very closely with her farrier and her vet and everything else. And it was a year and eight months we were recording a podcast and she was going out for a trail ride on this horse after wow. a year and eight months. So I always tell people it's not a miracle supplement, but it sure does some miraculous things. Well, too, and I think the the big thing you see with team ropers is, it, and it's changed over the last 10 years, but it used to be uh, when you wanted to, get your horse feeling better it was either this horse was great and he was worth a lot of money or it was a last resort like hey i've done everything i can this is this is it they're not they're not into maintenance as much as other disciplines and and i think that's really evolved over the last like i said about 10 years or so because of the horse market's so good the ropings pay so much now and and just being more aware of like how to to optimize performance and so i think that's what's it's it's hard to do because you got to be so in tune. But then when you know, like, hey, the, we got something good here. If we want to, we want to get the longevity out of horses. This is a, a a perfect way to do that. Yeah, and 
interesting when we first started. And of course, when we came down into the States, um, we went really big into the barrel racing world. And then uh, T Wade was the first roper. Um, wasn't the first roper per se, but the one at the pro level. And um, so he's been a great ambassador for us and connected us with Patrick Smith, who's been using product now for probably well over a year, I guess. And um, and we got Wesley Thorpe on board with us and uh, Miles Baker we just brought on board with us and uh, Cheyenne Wimberley over on the, the barrel racing side. But it, what's interesting from my perspective, and I was told years ago that, you know, the uh, ropers didn't really care about the horses, you know. They're yeah, just I using mean. them and abusing them and, and all that. But that's all changed. And, yeah. I, and I've seen it in the last couple of years. Like they're all looking for ways that you, know, you have to. And if you don't keep up, you're not winning the money. Well, that and um, I don't think team ropers have got a lot of money in general. <laughs> um, it's, just, it's just my personal yeah, experience. Yeah. But when they go to replace some good head horses and good heel horses, and now they're Fifty thousand to one hundred fifty thousand dollars for the top end of your, your head horses and heel horses. It makes you think, well, why why wouldn't we try to get the most out of them? And and then on top of it, everything costs so much to feed and and take care and maintain. So if you can optimize what you're doing, sure, it's it's pretty much a no brainer, right? Yeah, it really is. I mean, at a dollar a day, with I mean, for one scoop, I mean, it's it's pennies on the dollar in the in the all around grand scheme of things. And as I mentioned earlier, the people that are using it are typically saving 20 to 40 percent in other things so it's really really cost effective for all the benefits that you get yeah because you like I said you can add it on and then you might find well my horse has improved a lot and and then you can maybe go lower other things you know and and that might save money in the long term sure. so there's there's lots of ways to to do that but recovery is is recovery is such a big thing that we we don't really talk about in, in our industry. And I think that's, it's kind of wild when, if you start exercising and you go hard and then the next day you try to do it again, Yes, it's, you can't eat terrible food all day and put bad things in your body and expect to do that consistently. Right. So it's. Yeah. And, and we're asking a lot out of these horses and obviously because they can't tell us how they're feeling, you know, we have to have a good, uh, being good in tune with, with the horse. Uh, to be able to fill these things. And that's what, you know, within a couple of weeks, typically by feeding the quantity horse Excel, you can feel a difference just in the horse. You know, they, they feel more relaxed, they recover faster and, you know, they're, they're more focused and, you know, they're just balanced from the inside out. Yeah. What about with uh, younger horses? You know, I know like fraternity is becoming a big thing in the barrel racing. It's, it's mm -hmm. been big for a long time, but uh team roping as well. Um, I know, we talk about protein is essentially muscle growth. So as these horses are growing and we're asking them to do something, is that something you've seen a lot of benefits in with younger horses? We have. We, we've got a lot of, um, and over on the barrel racing side, um, a lot of fraternity trainers. And what they notice in, in these young horses is the focus is better. Uh, they just seem to focus better overall. But their recovery and stamina and you know, we get into even the foals that back it up into breeding programs. Uh, we've had more and more breeding facilities that are showing an increase in fertility, and um, which is pretty huge, you know. Um, so we're doing some testing now with some breeding farms uh, for this season to try to get some numbers, baseline numbers, stud-wise. Um, but we've had people tell us even in their, their older studs have a higher count now than they ever have. So, um, and we've got, you know, with, as far as the mares go, all the mares are taking or, you know, where they hadn't in the past. So we're still gathering data on that to, to have some more information, but you know, it, it's great for and safe for brood mares and, you know, during the pregnancy, cause it's going to help with development because again, they're not getting the right amount of amino acids in their feeding program. So, you know, from the time they're, you know, in full to they hit the ground and on up all the way to the senior pasture ornaments they're they're all benefiting right and then that's something i i would suggest to everyone is just look up amino acids and the benefits of it absolutely and it's, uh, i mean in people it's huge it's and and on top of it it's it's kind of crazy that it's something that hasn't been addressed too much uh in, in our industry and sure. i think that's you know it's kind of great to to kind of start seeing it go yeah, that way it is and you know it's it's important you know not all amino acids are the same kind of a thing it's like um you know, ours is 
pharmaceutical grade, human grade, you know, top shelf. And it's very expensive to produce this product, but we tried to keep it at a price point where everybody could afford it. And so, you know, I know there's a lot of products for cost a lot of money out there for doing very specific things. And with the Equinity Horse Excel, just that little scoop at a dollar a day, you know, it, it has a lot of benefits to it. Yeah. Yeah. I really like that. Um, what about, uh, the, you know, kind of with the, the horses, like the younger ones, um, you're talking about the fraternity trainers, I would think like their joints and everything as they're kind of growing, is that something that you kind of see like, uh, with the performance horse, that's really, really growing. Have you had a lot of feedback with that, um, in, in those kind of stages when they're, you know, they're in that three to four year old year and they really, you know, they're getting asked to do a lot. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it comes back to, um, I mean, some of the injections, which hopefully not too many are injecting at that age, but it does happen. Um, th- th- there was uh, one story I remember, and it was a, a young one, um, and it had some joints that weren't really developed. Um, and so this really helped speed up that development process. So again, we always have to keep in mind that, you know, we can't fight against Mother Nature. You know, there's some things that it's just not going to do, but overall in the upper 90 percentile of situations it's gonna help overall yeah yeah so i think that's just something to keep in mind is as you're doing that um if you are you've got younger horses if you want to maximize their growth and their recovery and everything this is just another way to to do that because i think that's the that's probably the hardest to manage as a young horse because you get so many more awkward movements in a run sure and they you know they're Obviously, their tendons and muscles are probably more flexible uh, than a, than an older horse, but they're still they can hurt themselves a lot easier, especially when you add a lot of speed. Sure, and then you look at the the people that are using it as a preventative. You know, you're keeping all those cells working at optimal levels, and you know, and it's going to come back to the recovery and things that that are the most important because you're working these, trying to train them, and you know, ask big things of them. So they seem to always be ready you know, because of the recovery process. Right. That's really cool. Yeah. John, do you want to add anything else? We, uh, um, here, let me ask you a question. Okay, let's go. We'll turn this interview around. Uh, I'm ready. (laughs) Well, you said you've been using product for about a year. Yep. What are some of the things you've noticed? So the, the two biggest things that I have noticed, um, I have two head horses that one is 10 and one is 12 now. And I wouldn't say that I've I've rodeoed a ton, but I've a, been able to keep them healthy all the time. They've they've just stayed solid the whole time. The biggest difference that I have noticed was with my older horse, and he's twenty or twenty one now. And um, when I rodeoed on him, I kind of rode him everywhere uh, for for about three months, and he has kissing spine. So mm-hmm. he's tore the muscle in his back. And that was, I, when I bought him, he was nine years old and that injury was already there. Right. And so we've injected his back quite a few times. It seems like I would have to do it once a year. Um, obviously hawks and stifles were something, not stifles as much, but how he wants to work, he has to protect that back. And, um, and we were just looking at him yesterday and I was like, man, this is as good as it's ever felt his back and i i couldn't believe like his top line is still really good um and and that's really hard to keep a top line on a a horse with a decent wither and and then having that muscle there it's just hard to to put that there so it's been able to i honestly i I wouldn't have been able to tell a difference um in a in a probably a short period of time but knowing my horse for a long period i i can't believe how good he is still there so that that was kind of exciting to see with it so um th- that's been the the number one and then um you know and then my other horse that i ride a lot i i took him to to um is it signature equine now yeah signature equine to to just have them see what they need and he is 10 years old and i've never injected anything and still haven't you know yeah. and so it's just and he gets rode quite a bit. You know, I started rodeoing on him when he was, well, we rode him at pro rodeos when he was five and I won the circuit finals on him when he was six. So he's, he's win a fair amount too. So, sure. Um, and never injected him and, and they look at him and they're like, Hey, there's, there's not a lot, <laughs> not a lot going on. So yeah. I think what I notice is I don't really, I don't have a lot of, um, big maintenance that mm-hmm. I'm putting into him. So it's kind of, that's been, it's been, 
it's weird because you're like you don't expect it and then when it doesn't happen you're like you almost take it for granted sometimes and then you look back and so that's that's kind of what that's what i've noticed with it it's been the best on on those horses sure yeah and that and that's one reason why we encourage people to take pictures too because when you're around them all the time and there's nothing wrong then maybe you're not even looking for anything specific um i'll take a quick story about a top line there's a uh uh old cowboy out in Virginia, barrel racing guy. And I was introduced to him. Uh, this was kind of in the beginning stages. And uh, I told him about the product and I'll just say he was very cordial. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Which I can appreciate. I yeah. mean, you know, with everything being out there. And uh, so I ran into him a couple months later and we had uh, more of a conversation. He was asking some questions. So I, I gave him some product. Two months later, I run into him again. and. Uh, I said, hey, how's that product working for you? And uh, he turns to me and he says, well, let me tell you this. He goes, I've had a mare. I've been trying to get a top line on for two years. I've tried everything. Nothing works. He goes, your Equinity Horse XL worked. And I thought, well, that's about the best compliment I probably could get from this guy. Yeah, that's <laughs> but, that's great. Yeah. What about, uh, so I know we're, we're going to wrap it up here in just a minute, but, um, you know, as as a company, you know, there's a lot of businesses out there. So what are some ways you try to separate your, you know, separate yourselves and really get behind, stand by your product? So, you know, when you're trying to do that, is, is there some ways that you try to say, hey, do you guarantee it? What do you, what do you try to do as, as far as that, that goes? Yeah, you know, it's funny because um, in the early stages, people say, oh, you need to put a money back guarantee on your product. Yeah. And I'm like, well, they're amino acids. Like, it works because it's amino acids. How could it not work? Um, I mean, the, the the thing that we do most, we have a little 15-day sample. Right. And so with all the supplements that are out there, we give away a lot of those little samples. Um, you know, we sponsor a lot of events. And so we give those away um, strategically. And, you know, I don't know a lot of other companies, typically they'll give away a, a sample maybe one or two days. Uh, from what I hear, I don't keep up with a lot of what other companies do as far as giveaways, but you know, ours is a pretty healthy giveaway, uh, 15 days. And sometimes we'll do 30 depending on the situation and what it is. But our biggest thing is, you know, trying to educate people on the power of amino acids, the right amount of amino acids. And so with everything else that's on the market, you know, I, I could sit here just like we have today, tell you all the b- great things about it and what it's going to do. But you know, I'm, I am a quinity. I, you know, it's yeah. like, oh, well, of course, what, what else would you say? Right. And so our whole thing is to try to educate as much as we possibly can. And then we give a lot of product away. So here, try it for yourself. You know, um, I mean, if somebody is just completely unsatisfied for whatever reason, you know, we're not going to debate them because I don't even know your horse or what you were looking for, but you know, it, it's tough, I think to, um, say, hey, here's a money back guarantee. And then I don't even know what you're trying to accomplish yeah. on your side, right? And it's like, well, my horse has got some thing that's mother nature's taken this thing down and there's nothing anybody could do, you know? So I just know in, in eight years of being on the market, our return request is virtually zero, you know? And so going off the thousands and thousands of testimonials um, and all the stories, which is one reason why we started a podcast. Again, I don't know of another supplement company that that can have a podcast like that. But the other thing is, you know, partnering with people like yourself and X factor and, you know, names in the, in the industry and what we've done with all of these big names when they, uh, uh, T Wade and, and uh, Jesse were actually using the product for a full year and buying it on their own before we ever spoke. And so that was pretty big. But um, like with uh, Patrick Smith and Wesley Thor, Miles Baker, Cheyenne Wimberly, you know, when, when we spoke or when I spoke with them, you know, I educated them on the product. And then I said, well, let me just send you product and then we'll touch base in 30 days and we'll work out something from there. And in all those situations, typically around the three week mark, they're sending me a text going, holy smokes, this stuff is unbelievable. And, you know, what's really interesting too is, 
you know, you can have 50 horses with 50 different things going on, give them all a scoop of equinity, and it's going to customize to what that horse needs, where they're lacking, um, whether it be joints or the hoof or top line or what demeanor or whatever it might be. But they're all going to have similarities, softer, shinier coat. They're going to feel better, the focus, recovery, better hoof growth and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, when it comes from, from our side, what we're trying to do is really just get the brand out there and let people know how great the product is and, um, you know, get it in the hands of people as many as we can, because it, it really is an amazing product. We're blessed as a company and, you know, growing like crazy. And so the more, more we can get it out there, the better. Yeah. It's kind of a, it's at the fun stage now, um, especially something like that, where you can really stand behind it and you know, it's working and, and it's, it's something that's so simple and makes so much sense. Right. And it's the benefits are so huge. So I think that's, that's, what's been pretty, pretty unique about that being able to, to utilize, uh, utilize it. And, you know, as, as things grow, um, are you moving into the team rope market the last few years? And yeah. you get it. I mean, I'm sure you've dealt with barrel racers your fair share. And oh yeah. There's a lot, you know, it's, it's kind of cool to see it with all the, the other disciplines as well. So. Sure. Absolutely. And that, that's the thing too. It, it doesn't matter what discipline the horse is, what feeding program they have, what part of the country. And cause you know, in some parts of the country, they're lacking in this mineral or they're getting too much of that. And with what we're finding with amino acids, they're all lacking. Um, so they're they're all benefiting from it right right well john i appreciate you coming on it was my pleasure and thank you so much and uh, appreciate to be working with you yeah no i'm excited uh you got you got any more questions for me you no to... i think uh that was my hardest question for you so, <laughs> <laughs> so thank everybody for uh being, joining in on the x factor yeah yeah <laughs> thanks again i appreciate it yeah thanks 